is rent. Come one, come all to the greatest show on earth with three of the world wonders. The Three Guys Rent with Arvin, Mike, and Phil. News, politics, escándalo, sports, current events, all things worth writing about, and much more. These tres gorditos will blow your mind. I think we're on, uh, and you listen to the Three Guys Rant on, uh, what are we on today, man? What, what? We're on a whole bunch of stations, we're on a whole bunch of stations, and I know we're going to get into it, we're going to start talking about uh, the Super Bowl, before we get uh, into we are? that, we will, because there's a lot of stuff to talk about, but before we start talking about that, again, this is the Three Guys Rant, make sure to check us out each and every week, follow us on Facebook and Twitter at the Three Guys Rant. go to the website, the Three Guys com. you want to speak to us, call us at 855 855- 69 three guys again 855 69 three guys and i just want to throw a big shout out to uh comedian extraordinaire alex remundo supposed to be okay, calling number one is alex remundo that's what i said no it's not what did i say alex remundo i don't know who the hell that is but that's not who you called it's, it's remundo that's right that sounds like the exact same thing i just said you moron no it doesn't dumbass how, how does get it, it together how does it sound different let's go so anyways, he's supposed to be, we're hoping to have him in studio. Um, he just called. He's literally sitting on the tarmac right now on a plane. Going oh, I was from... going to say, man, that's dangerous. But he's he's on a, he's no, on no, a no. plane. He, not in Taiwan. Not in Taiwan. Here in the U.S. Okay. He's sitting in the plane, not just on the tarmac. Okay. Um, coming from. Um, he's he going from? somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's coming here. But uh, he lives, uh, where's that show Justified filmed at? Kentucky? Kentucky. He's he's on a plane, I, I believe, coming from t- Kentucky to L.A. Okay, he's a uh, red Mexican. He's a red Mexican. He's probably the only red Mexican there. Uh, and I think he's actually calling back, so the plane must have been stalled. Alex, are you with us? Hello. Alex. Yes. How you, How doing? you doing, sir? We're, we're starting to move. <laughs> <You're> starting to... <laughs> are, are you under the seat so they don't see you on the phone? Yeah. I, I, feel like, I feel like I'm speaking in the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you're 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 on your way to LA, right? You're doing a show this this uh, Saturday, February seventh, at the Ice House in Pasadena. Yes, that is correct. The favorite, because and I have fun everywhere I go, but this is without a doubt my favorite room. All right, all right. So, so and what? You know why that is? That's because they get I have the life to speak Spanish, English, whatever I want to do. While I'm here. Oh, that's true. It's, it's mostly a bilingual uh, crowd. Yeah, I learned a little uh, a little Chinese too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I want to hear some of that. So, Alex, what time is your show on Saturday? We want to make sure to, to plug that. A las ocho y a las diez. A las ocho y a las diez. You know, that sounds like the last woman I went out that, went out with. She says she's got a date at eight and another one at ten. So, um, you, you, you're in Kentucky right now. Is that correct? Yeah. I'm on an aircraft on the tarmac in Boom, Dallas, and I'll fly to L.A. That, now, don't, don't be modest. Okay. You, if I don't get arrested first. Hey, don't be modest. You're, you're flying on your own jet, right? You know it. I was going to say, because I, I think your plane was supposed to leave about 10 minutes ago, so you must be on a private jet right now. I'm having a hard time hearing you guys. Yeah, you, you're breaking up, too. Alex, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right. I, I know that you got to get on a plane, but we're going to go ahead and make sure to uh, plug the event. Uh, February 7th, Pasadena, the Ice House. Shows at 8 o'clock and 10 p.m. Make sure to check out uh, comedian Alex Raimundo. Raimundo, because apparently I don't know how to roll my R's correctly. Raimundo, come on, man. You're in Whittier. You should know. <laughs> That's just a hop, skip, and a jump away from East LA, so you're absolutely right. Uh, again, w- what's your Facebook and Twitter? Let- let's plug that before before you got to. Uh, Twitter is at Alex Comics. Facebook is uh, Facebook.com slash Alex. We're breaking up, but again, we'll make sure to put we'll, we'll make sure to put all the social media out there. Again, Twitter is at Alex Comic, and uh, I, I think our engineer there is, is is actually looking it up right now. But again, everybody, make sure to check out comedian Alex Remundo. Okay, there you go. It's not the R. It's Rey Mundo. You keep saying Remundo. It's it, Rey it, it, Mundo. It sounds like the exact same. No, thing No, it doesn't sound like the exact same thing, man. But go go check it out. Uh, he's a very funny individual. Very talented. 
we every time he's in town we uh make it a point to go out there and then he's come in studio he's come in studio twice. and gotten us drunk yep so again <laughs> if nobody else knows make sure to also check out his tequila line called number juan tequila again number juan not the number one but j-u-a-n juan tequila it's, it's the best tequila i've ever had and yeah. i'm not even being paid to say that it's good tequila I don't know, man, because you only had a little sip because you're like a little girl. When, when you put a shot in front of you, you start sweating uh, and you get all red. Because I know what happens once you start getting drunk. Yeah, you, you loosen up <laughs> real quick. like. Yeah, we'll go with that. So anyways, so this past Sunday was Super Bowl Sunday, Super Bowl 49. And I know you watched the game, uh, as did I, and uh, probably over a billion people. Especially after the the Flategate uh, controversy, I'm sure a lot more people tuned in. Has there been a number of how many people saw it? No, originally but, I heard it was going to be uh, above a hundred a hundred million, but I've never heard million. I've never heard a billion. Was it that high? Yes. Oh, I don't know. Almost always that high. I, I, I watch Mundo <coughs> Fox. What do you want? Their numbers are off. Uh, but it was a good game, right? It wasn't a boring game at all. Uh, it looked like uh. I do, Seattle I, was going to win it at the end, but what a play. I do got to say, this is probably the last. I, I can't even think of the last time there was a Super Bowl that actually lived up to the name Super Bowl. Th this game was exciting start to finish. Um, it, it just had you locked in. Th there was a number, a couple times where you couldn't tell which way it was going to go. I, right. I, I really didn't think. Again, I was hoping the Patriots were going to win, but I just didn't see it happening. Um, and it literally came down to... What the last, the last 20, twenty seconds? Yeah, the last twenty seconds of the game, and it was just—it was a phenomenal game. Um, and what some people are calling the stupidest play ever called on a Super Bowl, the the play called by Seattle and Steve Carroll to in go Super Bowl or, or, or just pass. period. So, uh, well, you know, I think they may have said NFL history. I'm not sure, but to go call a pass play from the one yard on second down when you're first when you are. Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I if worst case scenario, I think the quarterback could have muscled it in one yard. You have the best running back in the game right now, Marshall uh, Lynch. Put it in his hands. The dude is a beast. He will trip and fall <laughs> forward more than two yards. Three yards. Just, and just falling over. You, and do you decide to go for a pass? And the, the best part about it, I thought, you know, is that the the player that made the play and got that interception is a rookie. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah, so absolutely. first year in the NFL, and he basically secured that. What, what was his name? I can't remember. I wrote it down here, and I can't remember. Now, if I'm not mistaken, and, and again, I have it written down too, but it, it's one of those things that it's a rookie. It's like you don't expect nothing from him. But I know Brady won MVP, and he actually got a Chevy Colorado. Colorado right. And he gave it away to another player. Was it him that, that he got kid. it? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. So, you know, it was pretty cool. Um, again, I liked it. It I gotta it say, was pretty it, cool. I mean, it's a good gesture, but I'm, I'm wondering if it, if it had more to do with the fact that the kid made that play or or Brady saying, I'm not going to be seen in a Chevy Colorado, bro. <laughs> I drive Bentleys. I got know, Mercedes. <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I was trying to stay away from it. Um, just saying, man. I, I, I was a little disappointed that it was a Colorado. I, I, Which, I, I know that they've usually done a Silverado, and that's what I was expecting. Right. I'm like, why is there a little truck on the field? I know. Next year is going to be what? A, a, they, <laughs> the Volt. <laughs> there you go. But I mean, it's a fine American truck. So I'll, I'll you know, you I don't want right, to, I don't want right. to say anything negative because it's American made. It is American made. So but, it's, but you it's realize that they don't sponsor this show. Oh, and screw them, man. <laughs> they should have given them a Tundra. <laughs> oh, they don't sponsor the show either? Yeah, yeah. No, they don't. Okay. Now, the one thing, again, I don't know if it's because I was barbecuing or I was already plastered. I don't remember any of the commercials. That makes two of us. Now, what I what I had to do is the day after go online and look at them. Now, it, it's funny that you bring that up. Do you think number one, it's because we started drinking at nine in the morning, or because so many of the commercials played up to thirty days before the Super Bowl? You started drinking that late. <laughs> this is the three guys rant. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh, 
This is Jack Off Out. You know what it is, your boy Jamario, comedian, actor, extraordinaire, dope dealer, everything. You see me on BT, see me on HBO Showtime. Now, you really haven't seen me, but you can hear me on Rap Radio Network every Tuesday, 6 to 7. We got comedy talk, special guest comedian. We got comedy skits. We also got the confession board. You can get stuff off your chest. Call us up anytime, 855-969-RAP. Looking for some swag? Make sure to check out monsterclothing.com. They got everything from V-necks, t-shirts, hoodies, baby dolls. And remember, custom orders are always welcome. And much more. I just thought I was a saint. www.monsterclothingco.com. Or call them at 888-49-MONSTER. 888-49-MONSTER. Hablamos Espanol. do 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 Hey, what's up, homie? What's happening? What's up, bro? Hey, man, are you into sports? Oh, yeah, bro. Angels, Dodgers, Ducks, all day. Oh, yeah, you got to listen to the most Bro Sports, man. They cover L.A. sports. Where can I listen, bro? Oh, you got to check them out on Iran Radio. That's IranRadio.com or a Moe's Bro Sports on Facebook. You got to check them out, homes. Okay, bro, I'll check them out. All right, I'll check you later, homie. All right, man. See you later, bro. KCAA Radio, Loma Linda, where no listener is ever left behind. This is Becca Bateau. When I'm not reading Fifty Shades of Grey and driving men crazy, I spend my time dreaming about the three guys rant, Arvin, Mike, and Phil. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, welcome back. Again, this is the Three Guys Rant. Everything you love and everything you hate. God knows what that means, but let's go with it. Again, call in at 855-69-3-GUYS. Again, 855-69-3-GUYS. And I actually just got a message from Amy that listens to us on iRant Radio. Is Arvind slow? Can you not pronounce? I'm sorry, Raimundo or Raimundo? Yes, it's Raimundo. So I'm going to say, no, Amy, I'm not slow. Amy, está mongolito. Uh, but anyways, you know, I don't know if, if you were listening, if you stuck around and you were listening to the commercials, uh, there was a commercial by, uh, by one of the introductions, uh, Becca Bateau, who is the voice Ooh. for the audio book version of Fifty Shades of Grey. I was going to see if you can screw that one up. Now, the, the reason I bring, that, bring this up is obviously, you know, Valentine's Day is approaching. That's when the movie is supposed to come out. Uh, here in the United States, they wanted to give it an N, uh, what was it, the N, uh, NR-17, is that what they call it? Uh, Meaning nobody under 17 can get in? Correct. But uh, the studios fought back and got it rated R. Okay? Now, across the pond in Britain, they decided that, no, it's, it's too strong for an R rating. So over there, you have to be 18 years old to go in and see Fifty Shades of Grey. Uh, apparently, they thought that uh, this strong sex and nudity, along with the portrayal of erotic erotic play. So we have a situation where here, if you're 17, you can get in. In Britain, you got to be 18. But what's amazing is that when the movie is rated R, you can go in with your parents. So I'm wondering if there's any parents that are crazy enough to walk into the movie theater with their kids. Um, I'm going to say yes. You'd be because one of them. Because this is America. You'd be one well, of them. Hell no. I'm going to call BS, Mikey. There's no way. You'd be like, whatever. Be like, ah, screw it. Let's go. Nah, man. But it, it, I'm just, I think, I, don't, I have no interest in seeing this movie. You're going to be going. because. But I think I, I, I want to go I just for that. Does. I, I want to go just for that. To see how many idiots bring any kind of young ones to the theater. Um, Danny, that listens to us on KMET 1490 AM and here in Southern California, says, Mikey, you're full of BS. And that's me abbreviating what he actually spelled out here on Twitter. You know what? I'm telling you, I have no interest in this in this movie, man. Again, you might not, but you're going to be there because your woman's going to want to see it. If I'm there, and that's a big if, you're so I guarantee you I'm going to be so wasted that I'm just So it's like any other day. Right. 
So you are going to be there. Let's no, take a poll right there. now. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody listening to us, call in at 855-693, guys. Let's take a poll. Let, let's, let's, let's do some kind of pool. I'm not going to be let's there, Let's do man. a pool. I'm not going to be but there. But you're going to be there not just opening weekend, but you're going to be there Friday that the movie opens. I know you already ordered your tickets online. Oh, I ordered my Because I saw your computer. I and you're going to go see it at IPIC. I, so or- you can- I ordered my tickets a year ago, and I ordered for three different shows. I could take three different ladies. So, And you did it through IPIC. That way you can watch the movie on your back. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a whole thing there, but I'll <laughs> stay away from it. Um. Anyways, speaking of women, uh, Bruce Jenner. <laughs> what is up with that's, that dude, that's, man? That's your segue. <laughs> what the? Seriously, what the hell is wrong with that dude? How do you go this late in life? And again, if he wants to be a woman, that's fine. It's in him, and I'm sure he's a good person. Whatever. I just I'm trying to understand how you go. Basically, most of your life, and then all of a sudden, wake up and decide that this is what you want to do now. Now, or was I, this I, something I, that he's I, always I, felt? I've I don't know. Heard, I've heard this before. I don't remember if you and I have talked about this off off air, but from my understanding, he wanted to do this. She's how old are the kids now? The youngest are about twenty, somewhere around there. So I'd say for at least the last twenty years, because from what I had read, he actually wanted to have a. Uh, a gender, I'm not sure what, what the proper call terminology it, uh, is. Gender reassignment surgery. Before he actually married um, Chris. So, I mean, if they have kids and everything else, and this was before the kids, I got to say this was probably right out of the Olympics, I'm assuming. I don't know if it goes back that far, but that uh, Chris Jenner, or yeah, well, now she's Chris Jenner, actually convinced him not to do it, and that's when they got married. Well, apparently he came out to the family and told them what was, you know, what was going to happen, what could be expected, and they are all supporting him, which, I mean, it's good. I mean, it's, it's family. I mean, you can't turn your back on family, but right. it's it's a little bit stunning sometimes to me when somebody goes that long in their life uh, su- suppre- suppressing basically what you know who they are. And uh, Well, how do you feel about the fact that he actually waited until his kids were grown? I mean, he didn't do it when his daughters were four and five or however, right. you know, they are separated in years. Yeah, I don't know. That, that would make a di- well. It would make a difference. It does make a difference because now they understand, right? So if he did it for that reason, all right, I, I can understand that. Uh, what I'm wondering is, uh, never mind, man. I, I'm just wondering if if he's gonna mold his body after one of his stepdaughters, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> voluptuous, big booty, I'm, I'm or, so, or, uh, or I'm sorry, what was that first word? <laughs> voluptuous. Voluptuous. <laughs> Listen here, Raimundo. Oh, man. I just got a message. I, I'm just, question, just a question. Just a simple question. Got a message here from Marlene that listens to us uh, here on WROM Radio out of uh, Detroit. Says he supports his, deci- uh, his decision 110%. Go, okay. Bruce. Okay, Marlene. Sweetheart, there's, there's nothing more than 100%. That's all you can do. <laughs> Okay, if it's 110, percent I mean, <laughs> that doesn't really exist. Let me get you understand straight. that, Marlene, Let right? Me get straight. So we're getting I, actually, I love you, but come on, we're getting get with it to to communicate with us, and you're gonna slam them as soon as the comment I comes mean, in. Yeah, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> just got another text here from Rocky that listens to us uh, over on Genesis Communication. It's asking, can you repeat that word you just said, voluptuous? Voluptuous. <laughs> Mike, I don't even think you understand how this stuff. So, um, anyways, I, I just want to end. You know what's what's amazing? You know, He's going to get a reality show. That would be, about the, No, he is about the his transformation. So it's going to be what a six episode series, and then I don't be know. done with it. No, I don't know. I think that takes a while, man. I think you have to go through like psychological counseling and all sorts of things before they. After being in no, that household, I'm sure he's already started. Either that, or he's just. He's just drunk all the time. Because I would be. I would be too, but that's just I'll be an alcoholic. That's just an everyday thing. Oh, wait a here. minute. I am an alcoholic. So <laughs> I don't know. I'll be something. But you know what? You bring up an interesting fact. And if, I don't go to the meetings because you know. I'm not I'm not an alcoholic. I don't uh, go to meetings. Right. I'm not a quitter. That's why I don't go to meetings. <laughs> so if he actually was to mold his body after one of the daughters, any of the daughters, but let's say it's one of the uh, KKKs. Right. Um You saying that because they're white? What's wrong with you, man? No, it's 2015, hey, dude. Hey, the, so what if they're white? They only go after black men. What's right. your point? So did the KKK. What <laughs> the hell I'm is saying. wrong with you? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. 
Where where would they get all that fat to inject into his body? Because that'd be a whole lot of fat for There's that. There's not fat, dunk. man. That is just prime beef. You know, there mm. people say that she's got implants on that booty. Well, you know, funny. You, you, you obviously you're talking about Kim. There well, was a picture. Well, she leaked. Got, she's got implants on the bottom. Everybody else has got implants on top. There's a new picture of her revealing her butt for a magazine. Is it called paper? Nope. This is the Three Guys Round. We'll be back after these uh, this commercial break. What's up, bro? Hey, man, are you into sports? Oh, yeah, bro. Angels, Dodgers, Ducks, all day. Oh, yeah, you got to listen to the most bro sports, man. They cover L.A. sports. Where can I listen, bro? Oh, you got to check them out on Iran Radio. That's IranRadio.com or a most bro sports on Facebook. You got to check them out, Holmes. Okay, bro, I'll check them out. All right, I'll check you later, homie. All right, man. See you later, bro. Protec Carpet and Tile Care provides professional cleaning services for carpet, tile, and grout, upholstery, and fine area rugs. We aren't just cleaning experts, we are restoration experts. We have saved our customers hundreds or even thousands of dollars on new flooring and upholstery expenses after we restored what they thought was permanent soil and damage. We are professionally trained and certified technicians. We specialize in damage restoration caused by heavy soil, odor, spot removal such as coffee, tea, ink, gum, wine, oil, paint, nail polish, and many more. If you want the best in home cleaning and professional services, call us today at 562-447-4300. We are ProTech. This is Jack Off Out. You know what it is, your boy Jamario, comedian, actor, extraordinaire, dope dealer, everything. You see me on BT, see me on HBO Showtime. Now, you really haven't seen me, but you can hear me on Rap Radio Network every Tuesday, 6 to 7. We got comedy talk, special guest comedian. We got comedy skits. We also got confession boards. You can get stuff off your chest. Call us up anytime, 855-969-RAP. Hey everybody, it's Kiara Lynn Ford and I'm listening to Rant Radio Network. This is a Three Guys Rant. Thank you, everybody, for tuning back in. Make sure to call us at 855-69-3GUYS. Again, 855-69-3GUYS. And I uh, just got a message from uh, Melissa that listens to us on the Mix FM and the Mix Talk. And this is out to you, Mikey. It says, is Mikey a moron? Yeah, no, you changed the name. <laughs> because people who listen to us every week after week know that every text asking if somebody's a moron comes through and it's for you. So, oh, I, I, I so. thought you, I thought you meant I changed her name. No, no, you, you changed who she was referring to. <laughs> no. But that's okay, man. That's all right. So, uh, the hell were we talking about? We're talking about uh, Kim's butt. Oh, Kim's butt. Oh, there's a new picture. It's for a new magazine. Not the wow, one that you, you really out. are slow, huh? That was like thirty seconds ago. Yeah, uh, where she's actually have has uh, no underwear and is uh, basically sticking her butt out. So, go online and check it out. That sounds just like the one she did for paper. This is a different. That, that one, was man. Like she's bending ago. over. How's that? That's the difference. Yeah. She's she's a little more angled. A little bit more angled. Um. Anyways. 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 So what I want to talk to you about, man. What do you think about this measles outbreak? This crap about parents not wanting to immunize their kids. Are we, ta- are we kids? talking about like the Bay of Pigs? The missiles? Please, you know what? I'm, su- I'm surprised that you actually knew that. That was a good a good thing to reference on that comment. I'm that proud was, of you. That was an excellent. Is that why you're crying? <laughs> that was a good one, man. That's it. I'm done for the day. That was what do you? That think was my spurt moment about this measles uh, outbreak. Can you please spell that? <laughs> yeah, M O R O N moron. But anyways, you know what? I don't understand how a, a parents 
can live without Im immunizing the kids for diseases that more, a lot of them are just pretty much gone. And they're making a comeback because a bunch of idiots out there. So maybe that's why they stopped uh, injecting their kids. Because they're like, when, when are we ever going to see that? When are we ever going to see polio? A, a lot of these kids. They, so does that I mean, mean polio is going to make a comeback too? I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but I'm, but I'm just going based on what's happening. Right. You know, you, you have a situation with this a, a small number. Well, it, it's an outbreak, but it's not huge by any means. But like, for instance, uh, when was it? In 20... In last year, there was only 644 cases of measles, right, for the entire year. This year alone, and we're basically ba barely into February, this is 102, and it keeps growing every Wait, day. I just got a message from Carlos. So that, all I'm that, saying that is. listens to us on, on uh, KCAA, 1050 AM. He asked, what are measles? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, so I, I don't understand, man. You know, to me, if, if you don't immunize your kid, you should not, they shouldn't be allowed to go to school, a public park, anything to do with the public because that's a, that's a public health issue. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but there's actually a school here um, in Santa Monica, which is not too far from where I'm at, Santa Monica, California, that says that they're refusing to take any child back that doesn't have proof that either they've had it or that they get it there, um, not on the spot, because obviously they're not just going to start you know, injecting kids, but at the clinic that's doing the service for that school. And I think that's a good thing, man. You should do it. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a choice. Now, when it comes to public health, what what's the downside? Why are some parents saying no? I won't do it because that I don't know. All, all I know, again, I don't have any kids. All I know, according to my headline reading, is that it started in Disneyland, and that's probably not even correct. It, the, part of this outbreak did start in Disneyland. All right. Okay. Now, the, a lot of people that, that don't immunize the kids, they they hang on to this report that was published. I believe it was in 1998. And back a, during World War Two, okay, 1998. Oh, World War One. I'm sorry. Continue, but, please. It's it's basically the Journal for uh, Medicine in Britain. It's called Lancet. So it's like our medical journal. Correct. Okay. And they were saying that vaccines, there were some side effects, and some of the side effects could be autism. Okay. So forever, so ever since then, a lot of parents have been, you know, using that as a reason why oh, not to vaccinate wait, their kids. But. Aren't autistic children normally born autistic? Uh, no, autism is uh, is diagnosed later. Okay. You, you don't know if a baby is going to be autistic. So, but then what happened was in 2010, they discredited that report and the magazine pulled it back, saying that there was nothing factual about it. So nothing's ever been really proven. But people, you know how people are, man. And then now there's states in here in the United States that allow people to opt out of vaccinating their kids by either religious reasons, philosophical reasons, or other reasons, you know. So now there's states, there's debates about whether they're going to make a law or not. But anyways, I just, it, it, to me, it bothers me because I have a kid who goes to school, and the fact that he could be exposed to something because some other moron parent decided that they didn't want to vaccinate their kid, to me, that's messed up. Now, just got to, just got to, a tweet here on, on Twitter uh, from Bobby that listens to us on DM Narc Radio out of New England. Do you think it's a possibility that there could ever be a class action lawsuit against Disneyland? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I doubt it. <laughs> um, I doubt it. Bobby, we, we, we don't have an answer for you. Check back in hey, Bobby, 30 days. It's a three guys rant. Does it, does it say legal Zoom or legal advice somewhere on our website? Go ahead. I mean, because if, if it does, please tell me. Slam this. Tell me, Bobby. Slam this one, too. Go Bobby, ahead. Bobby, Bobby, I don't know. No soy abogado. Comprende? No, pero eres albóndiga. Entiendes, Mendeo? Te explico, Federico. Uh, Anyways. Um, hey, why, yeah, why? so I don't know, man. I don't know if, if, if you can sue. I mean, there's no way. What, what was this thing I'm going to do? Start testing people at the gate for different diseases? No. Did it come in? Do they know if it came in through? Um... Yeah, they walked through a gate. So was it? It wasn't. Uh, freaking more. It wasn't. Was it a worker or was it a guest? Is that is they're the assuming it was a guest to try to cover their own behind? Yeah, could be. Okay. Who knows? Hmm. And they, they don't even know if it was somebody who lives here or just a tourist. Well, I don't know if most people realize this, but Disneyland doesn't cater to people in Southern California. They don't even want us nope. to go to Disneyland. They want people from other parts of the world because now, they spend money. Now, would that be outside of California or just completely out of the country? No, just tourists. It could be anywhere, anywhere. So it could be from Texas. Yeah. 
Right, because they know us cheapskates, and I talk from experience because well, I won't get into that, but they know that we're going to come in with sodas and sandwiches in our well, pockets. Th that or when it's lunchtime, you get your hand stamped, go back to your car where you go have Go across a, the street it, to McDonald's. Yeah, and, and you eat, you know, because you don't want to pay $20 for a I, kid's I Happy the Meal. Time, the last time I think I bought food there, I think I usually spent 100 bucks, And I'm like, I'll never do this again. But they have it. Don't they have a pass now, or is it a I, different park? I know Magic Mountain does. They have a pass. But you pay like 30 bucks or 40 bucks. I think it's like 50 bucks for the year or something like that. And anytime you go, you get, I think, two meals. Uh, no, no, that's not. It's per visit. It's not for the year. No, 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 no. I think this one is per for the year. I'll look right. into it. But again, it, it, go, go to Magic Mountain's website. But I know they have some kind of food pass, and I want to say it's about 50 bucks. And I think you're allowed... One or two meals every time you go. It might be one meal. That might be wrong. Who knows? I haven't had a pass to there forever. But so yeah, basically, get... everything he just said could be BS. So, you know. That's why people tune into this, man. So make sure you hard check hitting, it out for yourself. rent facts. All right. And if you got any more legal questions, please <laughs> tweet them, Facebook them, text them, whatever. Because, I mean, we're experts here. <laughs> oh, man. I just... What I mean, already? This, this, just, this just happened. Okay, just here. Happened. So, yes, so, divorce her. So it's in the past. So we just got a twat, and it says, "This is Bobby that listens." To... <laughs> it doesn't matter. They listen to us over on the Leaf at ninety-seven point nine. You guys really sound very educated on the air. Oh, we are. That's because we are, Bobby. What do you think? This is uh, this is it. But you know, staying stay on the West Coast subject, Jimmy Fallon. Jimmy Fallon's. I mean, he's huge. I don't think anybody's going toe to toe with them right now, and I think it's because of all the shenanigans and skits and everything else that he does. He's you know, I gotta him. say, he's better than I thought he was gonna be. He is too. I expected him to be good, but he really is great. I've always liked uh, the other guy, Jimmy Kimmel, but since he's taken over late night, I can't watch anything else. So again, this is the Three Guys Round. Make sure to stick around. We'll be back after this commercial break. your boy Jamario, comedian, actor, extraordinaire, dope dealer, everything. You see me on BT, see me on HBO Showtime. Now, you really haven't seen me, but you can hear me on Rap Radio Network every Tuesday, 6 or 7. We got comedy talk, special guest comedian. We got comedy skits. We also got confession boards. You can get stuff off your chest. Call us up anytime, 855-969-RAP. The experts know that for pastry, Baker's Bodega has it all. Exclusive brands like West Co. Bank Mart, Sat Nice, and Pastry Pride. One on one day seminars for cake decorating and gelatin art. So, for our service, wide range of ingredients and supplies, and for the low prices, Baker's Bodega has it all. But you don't need to be an expert. Baker's Bodega, 7869 Paramount Boulevard in Pico Rivera. Come, we're waiting for you. Hey, what's up, homie? What's happening? What's up, bro? Hey, man, are you into sports? Oh, yeah, bro. Angels, Dodgers, Ducks, all day. Oh, yeah, you got to listen to the most bro sports, man. They cover L.A. sports. Where can I listen, bro? Oh, you got to check them out on Iran Radio. That's IranRadio.com or a most bro sports on Facebook. You got to check them out, homes. Okay, bro, I'll check them out. All right, I'll check you later, homie. All right, man. See you later, bro. Buenos dias, buenas tardes, and a big old howdy, y'all. This is the Red Mexican Alex Raimundo with my amigos, the three guys ranting, not to be confused with three guys panting. That was uh, me outside your window the other night, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> This is a three guys rant. Real guys, real opinions, real rants. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. 
the three guys rent call in at 855 69 three guys again 855 69 three guys and we're talking about jimmy fallon now he was live after the super bowl um still in new york he had uh, will ferrell and kevin hart and he did battle lips lip lip sync <coughs> And apparently you're not even listening over there. No, right? I'm listening. But uh, I don't know if you saw the, his skit of uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. He did his own version, the Fresh Host of Bel Air. Of Bel Air, because he's bringing no of LA. That's okay. Because he's LA. bringing he's bringing his show. He's in LA this week, right? Or he's in LA week? this week, and I think he's here to the end of the week. Um, and I gotta say, man, I mean, the, the, that guy's just phenomenal. He's got he's got a following like. I, I don't know if I can think of anybody else that's that big right now. He's talented as hell, man. He can sing, he can act, he, he can, can dance, he can dance, he can do a lot. Man. Do you credit that to Saturday Night Live? Because eh, I don't know if most be. people know that. I don't know if that's where he started, but that's that's where I would say his career took off. Because from Saturday Night Live, he did a movie with Queen Latifah. He did a couple a couple movies. They weren't blockbuster hits, but I think after that, people saw that he can act. He can he can multitask if you will did he did he play her lesbian love interest or oh, wouldn't that make him straight i don't know i mean i'm just saying okay i don't know no no, no. there was no love interest at least not in the one i saw <laughs> it included a, a super a supercharged taxi um but yeah you know what i, I gotta say I, he's got natural talent he's got natural ability but i gotta say he probably fine-tuned everything on saturday night live i mean the show i think for the last couple years has kind of been garbage but it still produces some heavy hitters in the entertainment world and he probably at this point would be the biggest one yeah well uh eddie murphy's gonna host soon no i think they say that it's gonna be the uh the he, first time in like 30 years or something he's like gonna that? get his own show no no he's gonna host snl Oh, I had heard that. I yeah. think it's actually this month for the 40th anniversary, 50th anniversary. So for, like it's a big one. I know yeah. that I think he's going to come back. Um, a lot of people are going to come back. A lot of people from way back in the day when right. Saturday Night Live was just a terror in late night are going to come back. So I'm are, happy are you used to be scary? Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. El Cucuy. I thought it was always funny. I mean, Buckwheat was there. so. All right. So, again, I'm excited for it. Uh, if you didn't, If you haven't seen the skit, make sure to check it out. On his YouTube channel. It's funny. It's good stuff. What else you got, Mikey? Okay, man. I'll check it out. Hold <laughs> on. Let me go. <laughs> All right. Since we're talking about uh, Jimmy Fallon and his talents. We are? What do you think about weed? That's a great segue right there, man. Are we talking about buckweed or are we talking about we're marijuana? Talking about marijuana. Should it be legalized acro across the country? I got mixed feelings. What? I, I think I it, will slap you. I, I think there's too many holes in the system for people to take advantage of it. But I What's do wrong with think hose? there's nothing I wrong with hose. hose. I said loopholes. Okay, you there's didn't your, say there, that. But when we do the playback, you, you can hear yourself. Okay, what there's too I many holes. What, what loopholes about what? Because I think it's too easy for anybody to get their hands on it. I don't care. So if what? I don't care if you're 18 and you do whatever you want. But I think it opens up the door too much for anybody underage. Okay. What about alcohol? You don't think there's any underage drinking? Absolutely. A ton. Absolutely. So what's your argument against but it, that? It, it's the same thing with like prohibition. It's the same thing with having Cuban cigars. It, it's, oh, I, I can't have it, so I want it even more. I think it's going to fall under one of those. I think at some point, once it gets regulated or, or part of the mainstream, you're right. I, I don't think it'll it'll have that kind so of So you don't think that... Uh, there's any under 18 potheads now, right? Um, I didn't say that. <laughs> so, so, so I, I'm trying to understand. Anyways, the, the reason I bring it up is because, you know, there's a number of states that have, have uh, made it legal. You know what? It's funny that you say that because in Denver, they're being sued by the surrounding states for that reason. Why? I'm assuming that it's because too many stoners have crossed state lines being stoned and caused an accident or something. All I right. just I just heard recently heard about this that they're actually doing a class action lawsuit against the state as a whole. Well, the U.S. Surgeon General today uh, came out and said that marijuana can be helpful, and he says that basically there's some data showing that That's for certain medical conditions, marijuana can be helpful, and he thinks that uh, Congress should be really looking at that more. 
So I, now, is it because he really wants to help or because he wants to tax it? Well, he's a Surgeon General, so he's got nothing to do with revenue or taxation. So You know what? Everybody's you know. got their hand in the bucket over there. Yeah, but so he, he's got nothing to do with it. I guarantee you somebody's telling him to say something. So, because 23 states and D.C. have passed laws legalizing the use of, and production of marijuana, marijuana for medical uses. Okay. Can you say that word one more time? However, <laughs> the use of marijuana uh, still is illegal on the federal law. Just because the feds are, are they're choosing not to enforce them because the states are, are making their own decisions. That sounds like the same idiotic hypocrisy that's gone on here in California. How many dispensaries have opened up, even in our immediate area, that they get a license, the state says, okay, go ahead. They run until, for whatever reason, somebody gets a hair up their butt, and 45 days later, the feds come in and shut them down. Well, yeah, but the, state, uh, the DOJ announced a while back that they were going to stop doing it. Until somebody else got rubbed the wrong way. So, you know, and you know what? It, it sucks. You, you're right, for the, for the ones that are in the area, because now i got to drive farther, man. Because there was literally one almost across the street from here. Right. And he's not, he hasn't been there in forever. Now i got to go to to the city part of town, the park, you know. But anyways. I'm sorry, the what part of town? This, this is CD. How do you spell that? i got to Google this. So uh, so I think, I, I think it should just be S-H-I-T-T-Y? <laughs> yeah, that's how. Um, but anyways, I don't know. I don't know the big deal with weed, man. Why people are so uptight about it? And you know that part of the this negativity about it and uh, how people became all enraged over it started with a, with an actual uh, movie that was done back in the day. Uh, Baby Boomers are the ones that actually saw this movie, and basically, the the movie came back in 1936, and it was called Reefer Madness. So this is during Vietnam. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Reefer Madness, right? And and the film basically I've never even heard of this movie. Yeah, the, well the film basically blamed pot for everything, like from a hit and run car accident to manslaughter and suicide. And portrayed <sighs> the users as, a, as eventually tumbling into the abyss of madness. I like to see those same people right. make a movie today on crack cocaine heroin and right. methamphetamine and see what happens with those people but you see again it was a, a madness created by a movie no, nothing how, scientific no, nothing you know how much nonsense came out of that whole era though about people just being so over the top dramatic with whatever you want to call it I, I gotta say that maybe it's because they didn't know any better not that we know any better today but still I, I would say that those were the same people that were trying to go after Betty Page and all those that whole that beautiful woman yeah, but let me let me share share something with your parents. If if you're listening, you know, and your kid decides that he he wants to smoke some weed, you know what? You may rethink that if if you're on the negative side because I'm gonna read you just twelve uh, famous stoners. <laughs> this is gonna be good. All right. Hey, All hey, right. Alan, can you play that sound bite? Stoner thoughts. Montel Williams. Do you know who he is? Famous talk Wait, show. Is he a recent stoner because of his medical condition? Yeah, he's using it for medical okay, condition. Okay, that's he different. Was, he was diagnosed that's with different. MS and the side effects to his meds are so horrific that he the marijuana alleviates that. So he's still on his meds. Yeah. And this on top of that. Michael Bloom he Bloomberg. Must be, he must be a hell of a guy to party with then. Michael Bloomberg. That's the guy for former Facebook? former three term New York City mayor. Yeah. Billionaire. One of the richest men in the world. Has admitted that he was a stoner. He was a stoner. Yeah. Is that how he made his money, or is that before or after? No, that's before. Sir Richard Branson. Oh, I can see that guy. That's the uh, Virgin guy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, he's not a Virgin anymore, but he owns. I hope something of him. Virgin, Virgin Atlantic. Right. Right. And you know a bunch of other things. Steve Jobs, a famous stoner. Now again, is it because of the cancer? No, no, no. Before. So this is when he was in college. Right. Actually, they talked about that in the movie, did they right. not? Okay. Stephen King. Maybe that's why I, he I, writes so, I, so I, messed I, up I, books. I'm going to say he's probably on something stronger than marijuana. Barack Obama. There's no way that that's written anywhere. There's that is no written. Every, that is written. In it. Where did you get that one from? The president, he, he's talked Wait, about this. What is, are you talking about? Is that why his lips are purple? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael Phelps. Again, that guy should get more gold medals just for swimming stone. Carl Sagan, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Aaron Sorkin, Rick Steves, and Ted Turner. 
Famous Stoners. This is the Three Guys Rant. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Make sure to check us out each and every week at the Three Guys Rant. Dot com and remember if nobody loves you any coming off if the truth hurts then AM 1050 KCAA can be a real pain Looking for a delicious, fresh family meal that's ready when you are and easy on your budget? Welcome to Piara Pizza. We make our pizzas with handmade dough, 100% real cheese, and tomato sauce blended with our own spices. Nothing is ever frozen. We always have large pepperoni and cheese pizzas fresh and waiting for you for only $5. Or choose one of our specialty pizzas. We have veggie, meat lovers, supreme, and Hawaiian. Add an order of our amazing hot wings, cheesy bread, or breadsticks. Our locations are ultra modern, ultra clean, and open seven days a week. Visit any one of our locations today, or check us out on the web at www.piarapizza.com. Piara Pizza. Fresh, hot, and ready for you when you come in. Stop in for your Piara Pizza today. This is Jack Off Hour. You know what it is, your boy Jamario, comedian, actor, extraordinaire, dope dealer, everything. You see me on BT, see me on HBO Showtime. Now, you really haven't seen me, but you can hear me on Rap Radio Network every Tuesday, 6 to 7. We got comedy talk, special guest comedian. We got comedy skits. We also got confession boards. You can get stuff off your chest. Call us up anytime, 855-969-RAP. Hey, what's up, homie? What's happening? What's up, bro? Hey, man, are you into sports? Oh, yeah, bro. Angels, Dodgers, Ducks, all day. Oh, yeah, you got to listen to the most Bro Sports, man. They cover L.A. sports. Where can I listen, bro? Oh, you got to check them out on Iran Radio. That's IranRadio.com or a Moe's Bro Sports on Facebook. You got to check them out, homes. Okay, bro, I'll check them out. All right, I'll check you later, homie. All right, man. See you later, bro. Hey, what's going on? This is Frank Palangi here. You're listening to the Three Guys Rant Radio Show. Rock on. All right, this is the Three Guys Rant here on iRent Radio. KCAA, 1050 AM, KMET. 1490 WROM Radio, DM Narc Radio, The Mix FM, The Mix Talk, and a whole bunch more. Make sure to go to the 3 com. Go to uh, stations where you can find us, and they're all there. You know what's amazing, man? It's like you suck. Well, um, I've already told you, don't put my Friday nights out on the air like that. Uh, we've been, this is our last segment for the show today, and you had not mentioned that. This is a three guys rant, but there's only two guys in studio. Because you know what I figured? one of our one I, of our one our, of the three guys is out one, on vacation. One of our co whores? Yeah. Oh wait, that's not right. You say co whore? <laughs> How do you spell that? C O K E H W So that's not right either. So um yeah, Phil is not here is not here. You haven't listened to his lovely voice voice. Uh because he's gonna be gone for a little bit. How do you spell boys? Yeah, I know. He's uh, he's apparently visiting the same uh, clinic that uh, Jenner is. Bruce Jenner. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. I, I was. I'm kidding. He, he's not here. That's it. He's not here. Okay, go on, bro. Uh, you know what? Just just got a message <laughs> from Allison that listens to us on Absolute 102.1, asking where. In the hell did she get that list of uh, stoner people? On the internet. Where else? <laughs> On which one of the internets? Just Google 12 of the most su successful stoners, and you'll see this list and many more. I don't know if I agree with everybody on that list. Why not? Arnold's kind of on the way down. Right. So maybe past successful, but nonetheless. Now, let me ask you a question. Um 
we always make fun of Asian drivers. At least we do here where, where we're at. Not not right. here in the office, but right. you know, in the area. Are we gonna start making fun of Asian airlines? No, Co- completely different. Don't even go there. All <laughs> no, right, who? no, don't go there. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't go there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, I, let's talk about the story though. Okay, let's talk this, about the story. Did, did it happen this morning? It happened this morning. Trans Asia plane crashes in Taiwan, and if you actually go to our our website, it's it's right on the homepage. It's it's a, it's the video is probably about forty five seconds. There's a car going. It's on a highway. It's on a highway. I guess their version of freeway, you know, ours. And this plane is just coming down, and it looks like it's going to land on the on the highway. But it, to, but it's on it's sideways. Well, it, I think it turned sideways to avoid it completely. But the back tail section still clipped it. No, no, the wing. Was it the wing it that clipped wing. it? And before I know it, it's in the river. Um, the last report that I saw, there was fi- it was carrying fifty eight passengers. It's already been confirmed they have twenty three deaths on the plane. Right, but I believe that they've taken roughly about twenty people to the hospital. People that have survived, and some were uh, survived unscathed. Uh, I'm sorry, Count Chocula. When I said there's fifty eight people and twenty three have been confirmed dead, right? That means that there's a good part of people that are still alive. So yes, I just know they being could taken still to be the inside the river. They could still be strapped into their seats, dead. All right, moron. <laughs> All right. They have rescued 20 that have been taken to hospitals, and some of them unscathed. Well, let me see here. That's, Nothing. That's 43. Can you believe that? Plus 58. So there's about a good... When, when it's not your time to go, it's just not your time to go. Because by the look, if you look at that video, you don't know how the hell anybody survived. It, it was a pretty gruesome video. Yeah. So it, it's... Would you ever fly again if you survived that plane without a scratch? That, that plane oh, crash? Oh, hell no. You'd never fly again? I think I... Nope. I don't think I. I don't know. I don't think I could, man. What if you were in another part of the world and you decided to get home? Would you just stay there? I'm be st- like, hey, if you want to see me, come and visit. Uh, yeah, I'll take a boat. <laughs> Isn't that how you got here from Puerto Rico? Nope. Last time I checked, Puerto Rico doesn't have a, a an airport. No, wrong. <laughs> so, yeah, that was that was pretty pretty amazing. Now, um, staying not even not even close. To this, there's no segue to this All one. Right. But I don't know if you've heard, 28, 28-year-old San Diego man, again, here local to where we're at in California, is facing a possible 20 years in prison for a revenge porn site for right, ex-lovers. Right. right, I remember that. You've heard about this. I've heard about now, it. Th- I think he was, I think they had uh, tried to prosecute him a while back. Right. So it's finally in court, or they're finally getting ready to make a decision? Yeah, I don't. I, I think that he's finally going go to uh, go to trial. Now the whole thing is based on the fact of what um, well, he people's to, privacy. No, no. Well, he, he he used to run a site where disgruntled lovers could upload videos, pictures. pornographic videos or pictures of, of the their exes. exes. You know, and then uh, I believe I think there was, I don't know if it was a class action lawsuit or some to that effect that stopped the site. Right. And I believe I believe that the, actually, actually some statutes were passed uh, making that illegal. Because it wasn't illegal before. Right. So how can you be breaking the law if there was no law to break at the time? I don't know. I don't know. Do, do you know if it's... If Did you hear what I told that numb nuts that texted earlier that about please, legal advice? Please, I'm not. Please. And I'm not a lawyer, man. Slap another listener. Jesus you're on, you're on Christ. Road, man. Now, do, do you know if he started the website because the no, first one was his ex? I don't know. That'd be funny if it did. I wonder how much money he made off of this. It'd be like... Uh, I'm just sorry I didn't hear about this website before they put it down man <laughs> but uh what's his name uh the guy from uh girls gone wild Fra- joe francis yeah he only did was it like 18 months yeah I mean, it wasn't it, something it, that big it, it's pretty similar or i don't know if i don't think he had any of the girls signed before he put videos out no I, what got him in trouble is that some of the g- girls were underage that's what it was yeah now whether they lie to him or whatever but he should have done proper more proper checking do you really want to ask and check when you're kind of there if you don't want to be I guess, I guess if you're a smart person the answer yes. Is yes if you don't want to be bubba's you know what in prison yeah see i didn't know that part i thought it was just for no just no I was, there was some out there. underage allegations there so you know I, i'm gonna i'm gonna keep track of the story i'm curious to see what happens but, but you know what's amazing though if you think about it back in the day when girls going wild came out it was oh, it was the crap, man. All the guys wanted to get their hands on that, but it was pretty tame. It was crap. 
It was I, I, very, I got like very good, tame. I got like a good 57 videos at my house. I never went back and saw them. Why don't you uh, let's give them out to listeners? You know what? We'll do that. Anybody that calls in, emails us, tweets us, or Facebooks us, you'll get a free video. Again, this is a Three Guys Rant. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We love you all. Make sure to check us out each and every week. This is a Three Guys Rant. That's how you do a show. <laughs>